Well, hello there once again. Smoky Smokes here. Going to be doing a revisit review on Hurting Home Eggnog. This was one of my favorites back in the day. I don't remember it having that much flavor, though. I'm going to be smoke it, smoking it out of my newly finished Dr. Grabo or Grabo, however you say that. Some people say it's Grabo, some people say it's Grabo. I don't care. I have a new filter in there. I just cleaned it. So you get a nice flavor on there. Clean your pipes regularly, too. If you don't, you're eventually you're just going to... Like, you, the tobacco is just going to taste less and less good as time goes on, I guess. I mean, you won't even notice it one day. Just, eventually, you just kind of, you won't be noticing that it's supposed to actually taste better than this, but it was so such a gradual decline, you didn't even realize. Just kind of packing it nonchalantly here. Once again, using my phone on this nice little mount right here, and I'm currently in my backyard. It's a pretty nice backyard. That's okay. Anyway. This is revisiting. I, this is one of the first five tobaccos I ever bought in my life. Probably gonna not do any editing in this video, sorry. I know I'm puffing on it a lot, but I'm trying to keep it lit, actually. I have trouble keeping pipes lit for some reason. Alright, looks like this one's good now. For now. Very little flavor, I'm not really getting a whole lot. And it could be because it's new. Oftentimes when you get a, a brand new tobacco that's only been sitting for like who knows how long, it the flavors is not really there yet, but And sometimes it's usually the second smoke I have after I clean a pipe. That's when the flavor all comes back. The first one, it has kind of a... I don't know how to describe it. Almost like a cleaning product type flavor for the after the very first cleaning you do of it. Uh, the very first smoke after you clean it. I used a rubbing alcohol, but... Even though I heavily rinsed it out and dried it and everything, it, it still kind of lingers just slightly. But after the first smoke and once you get that first like you know, bit of ashes and tobacco in there, that's when the flavor... The cleaning flavor, I guess, goes away, but... There we go. I got, like, a hit of flavor right there. Very mild flavor.
almost picking up an eggnog. It's just like a, a light, mild vanilla flavor, I guess. But eggnog has got its own kind of thing. I'm kind of picking up on that. Pretty nice, very relaxing, mild all day type of smoke. Did you see those shadows? No, I guess you didn't see the shadows. They're just huge shadows. Goodbye, big old birds flew by above my head. It's a really nice day out. I wish we could get rain. We've been getting so many clouds lately. Today it's just partly cloudy, but no rain. A few little spritzes and drizzles here and there, but that's about it. neighborhood too. Spitting, sorry. Some people don't spit when they smoke. I do. I don't like to swallow all that smoke absorbed saliva. Not a whole lot to it. Mild vanilla flavor. I guess you could say it's eggnog, but if you didn't tell me it was supposed to be eggnog, I probably wouldn't have guessed it was. I love pipe filters, by the way. Now, if you don't like pipe filters, if you are a pipe smoker, but you're a person who does not prefer them, would you care to comment why that is? I can't think of many reasons why you would not want to use a pipe filter. I like how it absorbs all the crap and liquid that comes up. It provides a cleaner flavor. And the only thing is it's an extra expense and it's an extra thing to take care of. It's That's like the only thing I can come up with. That's the only reason I would think why someone would not want a pipe filter, but... Maybe it's too clean? Maybe that's a reason? Yeah. Smoke's a little hot, but it is an aromatic. I'm puffing on it like a freaking freight, freight train over here. I was going to say trait frame. set it down for a bit. Do you spit when you smoke? I do. Also, another thing I do when I smoke, there's a lot of little things, like, it's fun seeing the differences between us pipe smokers, like, what we do and don't do and our preferences and such. I tend to, I like to scoop up the ashes just, just a little bit, lightly scrape the top, and I dump them out in a safe spot. I believe it does provide a cleaner taste when you get rid of those ashes. Let me do that real quick. Ooh, there you go. See that? Not that you can see the flavor, but I can taste it.
right away much cleaner flavor right after I scooped out the ashes. A lot of people, I think, they just kind of let it sit there, just continuously tamp, light, tamp, light, they just let it burn all the way down. I don't do that. I, I like to ash it because I do actually taste a difference. I, it tastes a lot cleaner to me anyway. So I do like that. So there would be no editing, but I just did, so I lied to you. Um, it was basically just right after what you saw there, about a minute later. But, um, yeah, it just kind of lost its flavor after that. I only put two pinches, not three pinches, so it was a pretty fast smoke. And it was puffing it really fast, too, so... Puffing on it really fast, rather. So, yeah, it's about what I remember. Just a nice, mild, vanilla, hint of eggnoggy type flavor. It's, it's pretty good, so... I love eggnog, so I just have a bias towards it. It's just kind of like candy corn. And I had that candy corn tobacco. I just love that stuff because I love candy corn so much. But this is kind of the same deal. So it's okay. Get it or don't get it. If you just want a mild, all day, almost kind of sweet smoke, by all means get it. If you like eggnog, by all means try it. If you like vanilla, by all means try it. But if you're not into sweetness or if you're not into mild smokes, I would just stay away from it. It's not really a big deal. There's not a whole lot going on here, but it's not too bad. It's just pretty good. So. That's my revisit on it, not much changed.